What is stereo? Stereo playback is used to simulate a panoramic sound field. This is where we get the term pan or panning. It's the way things sound in nature from all around you. This is one of the primary ways we separate sounds from each other, the direction they come from. We can detect sounds from as little as one degree apart from each other. So stereo was created to simulate the way things sound in nature. Imagine the sound of a car driving by. Now that's nature. It's not just the change in pitch that tells you the car is moving, it's also the change in volume in each ear that tells you where it is and how fast it's moving. Better yet, imagine standing in front of a small stage and listening to a drummer play the kit. There's a splash cymbal off to the right, the hi-hat and snare are off to the right a little less, the kick drum is right in the middle, the toms go right to left as they're played, and there's a ride cymbal maybe off to the far left. That's what we're trying to recreate using stereo. So panning in stereo is an excellent way to get reality and separation in a recording that will be played back over stereo speakers. In live sound, it's not so excellent. Stereo requires two speakers that form an equilateral triangle with the listener. You were awake in eighth grade, weren't you? In order to be part of an equilateral triangle, you need to be right in between the two speakers and the same distance from each speaker as the speakers are from each other. As soon as you're outside a very small area, right in the middle, the stereo image collapses. Golden-eared types would call that small area in the middle the sweet spot. So even if you can use stereo in live sound, you either create an effect few people can hear with an odd mix for everyone else in the audience, or you have to limit stereo panning to a very small amount. Either way, it's not nearly as effective in creating a sound field and separation in your live sound mix as it is in a stereo recording. So just because you have two or more PA speakers on opposite sides of your stage, don't be fooled into thinking you're really using them in stereo. You really can't. Now, if we could only get everyone to wear headphones, we'd totally look like geeks. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.